Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and are having a flare free day. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about another organ in the human body that is often impacted by endometriosis, lesions, adhesions, and stroma, but it's an organ that we don't often hear about being impacted by the disease. Oftentimes, society believes that endometriosis is just a period disease or a reproductive disease when it is, in fact, a full body systemic inflammatory disease that has impacted every single organ in the human body. So today, I wanted to highlight how the pancreas has been impacted by endo lesions, adhesions, and stroma, and how there are symptoms that are in place that show that endometriosis is in that area of the human body. So if you want to learn more about pancreatic endometriosis, then feel free to keep on watching. So the pancreas is an organ that sits deep in the abdominal cavity between the stomach and the spine. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes to help break down food in the human body. The pancreas also produces insulin and glycogen that is released into the bloodstream to help maintain and balance our blood sugar levels. To date, since the 1980s and as this video is being filmed, there haven't been a lot of cases of pancreatic endometriosis that have been reported. There are only approximately 13 cases of pancreatic endometriosis that have been reported. That isn't to say that there are more cases out there since the 1980s, but um, scientific research wise, only 13 have been reported. The age range of those impacted by pancreatic endometriosis has also ranged from those being 21 to 68. Pancreatic endometriosis in those cases reported has also shown that some individuals that have pancreatic endo are still menstruating and still have a period. And it has also impacted those that are in menopause. So it shows that endo uh, symptoms and the disease itself do have presentations outside of a menstrual cycle. The symptoms of pancreatic endometriosis range. So some symptoms of pancreatic endometriosis include unexplained weight loss, pain below the ribs, pain on the left side of the body between the stomach and the chest, nausea and vomiting, as well as some diarrhea, a mass on the upper left side of the abdomen, inflammation of the actual pancreas itself, and fatigue, which is very common among other endometriosis symptoms related to other organs in the human body. I do wanna note that those that are still menstruating, they do have cyclical returning symptoms seven days prior to their period when it comes to pancreatic endometriosis. I do wanna also highlight that those that are experiencing menopause or are not having a period anymore, um, they do also have symptoms of pancreatic endometriosis, something to keep in mind that endo doesn't discriminate based on your age or whether you menstruate. Imaging can be a great way to see if endometriosis, lesions, adhesions, and stroma are present around the pancreas. However, I do want to highlight that some imaging may not necessarily show the whole picture or dictate whether endometriosis is there or not, meaning that if you don't have anything show up on imaging alone, it doesn't mean that you don't have endo in that area. It just means that the imaging techniques didn't necessarily pick up on the mass or the tissue that is present. Some imaging techniques that are used are are MRIs, CT scans, ultrasounds, computerized tomography, different types of imaging techniques can range, but what has been proven to be pretty effective in determining if endometriosis is present on the pancreas is a needle biopsy. A needle biopsy goes into the pancreas, takes out a, a piece of tissue, and is analyzed in a lab to confirm or deny if that is endometriosis tissue. If blood tests, needle biopsies, and imaging can't necessarily rule out if things are malignant or not, meaning that if you do imaging and you can't tell if it's cancerous or endometriosis or not, um, sometimes what will take place is a resectioning of the pancreas as well as a bit of the spleen to ensure that the tissue present is not malignant. 12 out of the 13 cases of pancreatic endometriosis underwent resectioning of the pancreas. I do wanna be clear too that the pancreas is an area of the human body that does have benign and malignant cysts that grow on it, meaning um, you can have non-cancerous cysts that can grow on the pancreas as well as you know, cancerous cysts as well. So endometriosis can grow on the pancreas, but it is so important to recognize that imaging can pick up other masses that are non-endo specific. It's really important to note that cysts can form four to eight weeks prior to what's called an acute pancreatitis. These cysts are benign, meaning that they're non-cancerous and non-endo specific, but they are pretty common when you do have pancreatitis show up, meaning that there's lingering inflammation around the pancreas. Just wanted to highlight there that yes, endometriosis, lesions, adhesions, and stroma 
are present on the pancreas, but there are other cysts that are non-cancerous as well as cancerous that can show up on imaging that we should be aware of. It's really important to recognize that endometriosis is a full body systemic inflammatory disease uh, that does impact other organs. So I'd be really curious to know if this is the first video you've seen around pancreatic endo. Um, and if so, please feel free to share the information with others in your area uh, to let them know that endo is not just a reproductive disease, but a full body one. With that, I cannot wait to talk to you on the next one.